Hallo und willkommen zum 37. Video von 3 Minuten Deutsch. Today I'm going to be starting a series of several videos about the present perfect tense in German, or as the Germans like to call it, das Perfekt. Generally speaking, this tense is used whenever you are speaking about something that has already occurred in the past tense. There's an important distinction to be made here between the English present perfect tense and das Perfekt, because in English the present perfect tense is actually used to talk about things that started happening in the past tense and are now continuing on into the present, as in, I have been living here for five years. That technically is in the past tense, or the present perfect tense in English. Das Perfekt auf Deutsch, however, is used only with things that are already done in the past tense. In order to form this tense, you need to start off with having a form of either haben or sein. This looks exactly like the conjugation does whenever you conjugate this in the present tense for each of these verbs. Sein is used with an intransitive verb. These are verbs that are either verbs of motion or verbs that just don't take a direct object. Haben is used with all of the transitive verbs, basically all of the other verbs. In addition to using a form of haben or sein in each sentence, you're also going to need what is known as a past participle. Past participles in German are formed with regular verbs with a GE at the beginning of it and a T at the end of the verb stem. This past participle is then shoved to the end of the sentence or clause, just like we did with the modal auxiliaries with the infinitives in those sentences. Here are a few examples. We'll start with the present tense and then contrast that with the present perfect tense, or das Perfekt. Ich sage das meiner Mutter. I am telling my mother that. Ich habe das meiner Mutter gesagt. I told my mother that. Machst du deine Hausaufgaben? Are you doing your homework? Hast du deine Hausaufgaben gemacht? Did you do your homework? Der Geist der vergangenen Weihnacht zeigt Scrooge seine Vergangenheit. The ghost of Christmas past shows Scrooge his past. Der Geist der vergangenen Weihnacht hat Scrooge seine Vergangenheit gezeigt. The ghost of Christmas past showed Scrooge his past. Wir fragen unsere Lehrerin. We are asking our teacher. Wir haben unsere Lehrerin gefragt. We asked our teacher. Reist ihr nach Österreich? Are you traveling to Austria? Seid ihr nach Österreich gereist? Did you travel to Austria? There are also a few other weird rules that occur with regular verbs that you need to be aware of. If you would normally add an E in between the stem of the verb and the ending in the present tense for the do, er, the s, and ear forms, for instance the verb arbeiten, you would also add an E in between the stem and the ending, the T, for the past participle. Der Mann arbeitet in der Garage. The man is working in the garage. Der Mann hat in der Garage gearbeitet. The man worked in the garage. If the verb has a separable prefix, you put the prefix first, then the GE, and then the stem of the verb. Ich mache gerne mit. I like to participate. Ich habe gerne mitgemacht. I liked participating. If the verb has an inseparable prefix, you don't add a GE at all. Meine Tochter erzählt mir eine Geschichte. My daughter is telling me a story. Meine Tochter hat mir eine Geschichte erzählt. My daughter told me a story. There's a link down in the description where you can find all of the top 50 most used regular verbs in the present perfect tense, and you can also find a link there to my blog where you can find out more about this topic. Das ist alles für heute. Danke fürs Zuschauen. Bis zum nächsten Mal. Tschüss.